ADL 2012 uh, Pre 49 Nationals. Um, two years ago, our club decided that we'd like to put them on, and we figured Oriwa was a great place with all the attractions, uh, the beaches, accommodation, cafes, and, and the surrounding area. And we thought, no, good, we'll go for it. We did one way back 40 years ago, the same type of thing, so about time for us old fellas to have another go at it. It is selected to pre-49 American cars. We've had entries from 36 clubs throughout New Zealand. There's only six pre-49 clubs in New Zealand. The biggest we had before was uh, 03 at the Riverside, I think it was 120 cars, and here today, this weekend, we've got 185 cars, you know, just on 400 people. That's fantastic. It's, uh, the growth of the sport is brilliant. Uh, we have three big events a year, which is the uh, Street Rod Nationals, the, the National Show, and uh, this is coming uh, a close first, even though it's third an event, but it's not a national event, but it's, uh, it's, it's great, you know, it's just great to see everyone here. When they were coming in on registration, you look at one car and you think, gee, that looks good. Then you look at another car and it, oh, goodness me, that even looks better. And you, it just, the quality of build today is just unbelievable. Always had a love for the Model 40s, the 33, 34 Fords. Um, in my younger days, used to own all the, the tri Chevys and the Mustangs and the old custom lines, and always had a hankering for a, a 34 Ford. And I think I bought my first one when I was 21, and a pretty well owned one till this day um, in all sorts of states of repair or disrepair. So, yep, always had a love affair for the old 33, 34s. It's um, a 32 Ford Roadster, Pete Osborne body on a completely hand fabricated chassis and uh, I've only just finished it, I've been working on it full time for the last three years. I didn't see the point in just building another car that sort of looked the same as all the others so I decided I'd sort of uh, design something quite different and follow more a bit of a uh, nostalgia race theme along with it. Running um, a, a stock 350 in it with a, a fairly lumpy cam, I wanted something that's more for reliability so I'm running a 700 R4 trans with the overdrive on it to get better fuel economy out of it and 3.5 diff gears. Go to a pre-49 Nationals with a brand new car, it was always quite good, it was quite a buzz. Well it's a steel body, it's the first Brookville steel three window to hit the road in New Zealand. The fact that it's got a you know, 400 cubic and Chrysler, it's got plenty of power, you can have a lot of fun, I can go down the drags, I can do whatever I want, just the combo, I just wanted to build for a long time. The chassis is a, is a custom one-off, like an aircraft style cross member, uh, large U-channel cross member chassis, built fairly rigid, so there's no twist for the engine. Um, the engine is a, um, a 392 Hemi board, pretty much the max. It was start of this event, it had 60 miles on the clock when I left on Thursday. It's got about 200 odd now, and uh, it's been trouble free definitely fun. Clutches on these things are in or out, that's the only awkward part, but uh, they are a lot of fun to drive and it's like driving an old hot rod, um, which is the beauty of it, you know. So many cars now, well, we can build them so you can drive like your, your latest XR8 Falcon, but it's not a true hot rod, you know. True hot rod or something is a bit hard to drive, but that's half the fun of it. It's a bit of noise for your rattles, bang, clunks, whatever, when you let the clutch out, well that's cool and uh, you, then you're off. <laughs> but no, it's a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I think we've raised the bar again for this event. Every year it gets better, so you can't ask for better than that. The amount of thank yous we've had in the last 24 hours, 48 hours has been, it, make, it makes, you, makes you feel good. So I think we, we nailed it.